In this video, we're going to look at simplifying algebraic fractions. So the question says to simplify a minus four over a squared minus six a plus eight. So what we do in a question like this, we try and factorize the top and the bottom. So what we can do for the numerator here, we can say that a minus four can't be simplified. So we leave it simply as a minus four. So we can leave that as a minus four, like so. And then we can say, well, remember the basics of factorizing quadratics. Whenever we have a plus at the end, this means that we have the same signs in both brackets. And what sign is going to go in both brackets? It's this one here, the minus. So we have two brackets like this. A goes in one, A goes in the other. So we have two minuses. And then we say, right, what two numbers times together to make eight? Well, that's four times two. And we're trying to make minus six. So we get minus four, minus two. So we get minus four and minus two here. So in general, the way we know that we've got these questions right is the same bracket would generally appear on the numerator and the denominator. And in this case, we've done that. We get a minus four on the numerator and we also get a minus four on the denominator. So what we do now is we can cancel them out. So I can cancel a minus four on the numerator. Likewise, cancel a minus four on the denominator. And what we're left with is a one and a one. So we end up with one over one times a minus two. And we end up with one over a minus two as our solution. Here's a question, pause the video, and you can watch my work solution. Welcome back. So let's take this question. So we want to factorize the numerator and the denominator. So we get x minus two on the numerator, and then on the denominator, remember the rules of factorizing, the plus at the end means the same signs in both brackets and the minus in the middle tells me that it's going to be a minus in both brackets so two brackets like this and we're going to have two minus signs so minus and a minus and again we're going to say well four times two makes eight minus four minus two makes minus six and it must always make the middle term. So we get minus four minus two. And I know this is correct because I've got an x minus two on the numerator and an x minus two on the denominator. Cancel them out. Don't forget you always get a one here. And our final solution is one over x minus four. Okay. And that's my solution. Now, here's a hard question. So with this, we need to remember that the numerator has something called the difference of two squares. So we going to, we're going to say that x squared minus nine, well nine is the same as three squared, we could write that as the following. So x squared minus nine is the same as x minus three in one bracket and x plus three in the other bracket. This is called the difference of two squares. Then the denominator must be factorized by what we call the AC method. So what we're going to do, we're going to write that out. So we're going to write two 
x squared minus 7x plus 3. And then we're going to do 2 times 3, which gives me 6. But remember here, we're trying to make the middle term, which is minus 7x. So we're going to break this down and say, OK, so again, I've got a plus at the end, which means it's the same signs that go in both brackets. And I've got a minus here in the middle, so it's going to be, OK, well, the factors of 6 I could use are 6 times 1 makes 6. And I need to have a, an x here. So I know that minus 6x and minus 1x will definitely make minus 7x. So we can rewrite this as the following. 2x squared. And then I'm going to replace the middle term with minus 6x and minus 1x. And then I get plus 3. Then the technique here is we take these two terms and we factorize them and we say what's the common factor well in this case it, the common factor between 2x squared and minus 6x will be 2x so we'll get 2x here like so what do we times by 2x to get 2x squared or that be an x what do we times by 2x to get 6x well that would be 3 and the rule of factorizing these quadratics are that the brackets will never change. So we copy that out again. So we write x minus 3 here. And we say, what do we times by x to get minus 1x? It will be a minus 1. Brackets we need are going to be 2x minus 1 and x minus 3, like so. So now we can say, right, so we could write the numerator x squared minus 9 as the difference of two squares, which is x minus 3 times x plus 3. And then on the denominator, we're going to get 2x minus 1 times x minus 3. Now, again, notice that the same bracket appears, x minus 3 and x minus 3. So I can cancel this x minus 3 with that x minus 3. So I get a 1 here and a 1 here. And my final solution will simply be x plus 3 over 2x minus 1. Here's a question for you to try. Pause the video and then you can watch my work solution. Welcome back. So again, we've got the difference of two squares on the numerator. So let's break this down. So 4x squared minus 1. The difference of two squares, well actually, hang, hang on a second. 4x squared is the same thing as 2x all squared minus 1. So I can say 1 squared. So we could write that as the following, 2x minus 1 and then 2x plus 1, like so. Now, we're going to take the denominator and factorise that. So we're going to get 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. We're going to use the AC method here to factorise. So we do 2 times 2 gives me 4. And then we can break this down into 4 times 1, because I'm trying to make this middle term here. And now remember here, the minus at the end means you're going to have different signs in both brackets, meaning one's going to be a plus, one's going to be a minus. But because it's a minus 3x, this is an important rule that the bigger number must contain the minus. So we get a minus 4x plus 1x, and that's definitely going to give me a minus 3x. So what's going to happen here is we get 2x squared. I'm going to replace the middle term with minus 4x like this plus 1x 
and then we get a minus 2 here. We take these two terms here and factorise them. Take 2x out as a common factor. So what do we times by 2x to get 2x squared? Well, that's going to be x minus what do we times by 2x to get 4x? That would be 2. So we get x minus 2. Copy that same bracket out again. x minus 2. And what do we times by x? To get a plus 1x, we get a plus 1 here. So the two brackets required are 2x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2. So now we can simplify our, our direct fraction. So we could write the numerator as 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. And on the denominator, we're going to get 2x plus 1 here times x minus 2. And likewise, we've got the same bracket up here and again. So this factor will cancel out with this factor. We get a 1 and a 1. And our final solution will simply be 2x minus 1 over x minus 2.